Hey everybody, it's Brenda with Foxy's Creations. I hope everybody's doing good tonight. Sorry I haven't been live. I had Libby last week, as y'all know, we made, I think, two appearances. And then we got busy with crafting because she had things that she wanted to do while she was here. So we did the Christmas ornaments. We did something else on the channel, I think, besides the Christmas ornaments. And then her and I off camera made three journals an altered box, an altered box for her mom. Child went home with a bunch of stuff, you guys. So, we took, she, her mom came and got her on Sunday. She's going to be here again for a week of her Christmas break, so y'all probably get to see her little hands again. And so, that's, and then on top of that, my internet went out on Thursday. They just put it in on Monday. Thursday it went out. It came back on Thursday night. But since then, it had been in and out, in and out, in and out. Now it's fixed. Hopefully it's going to stay fixed. So I should hopefully be able to come back live later this week at some point. That's my plan. So anyway, so this, um, this video is all about Artsology again. This is my Artsology design team project for August. And the kits that I'm using, I wrote on the back side of another note, are... And we'll go over them first. Vintage, oops. I should have had them up the right way. Vintage ladies, oversized tickets. Aren't they gorgeous? It's the Vintage Ladies Oversized Tickets, kit number 111 on her website. And I'll have all her information down below. This is the way they come. You get three sheets. And these ladies are awesome, you guys. And they're pretty good sized tickets. So, I have plans for this ladies with the other kit. So, these are the three pages of those that you get. And then, the other kit that I got was the Assemblage Junk Journal Kit. And that's kit number 178. And we're slightly off camera. Now, these are the, the first three pages are her background pages. I'm not going to be using them as background pages, however. But I am going to be using them because they're gorgeous papers. So there's this one. And it's awesomely gorgeous. And then there's this really pretty paper. And there's this one. And it's got like little postcard stamps and stuff on it. And it's pretty yellow. Looks like lace. Then we get to her actual journal pages. And I love this kit because it's all about collage. So, I'm going to be doing some of my own kind of collaging things with the kit. And so, when I looked at this kit, I was like, oh my gosh. And I immediately thought this would make a good cover. Because you could definitely fold this paper in half. You would place to put the word journal. You could decorate it. That's what I immediately thought. Then I thought, let me make a cover and use some components. So, that's what I'm doing. So, this is one of the pages in the kit, and I love this. And this looks like one of the backgrounds on the side of the page. These pages could be cut apart. You could cut this little frame out. You could cut this part out. You could cut out the words and the ledger paper and use them individually and create other collages with them, which is some of what I'm planning on doing with some of these pretty papers. And then there's this page. This is awesome. I think it's a moth, but isn't it gorgeous? And the same thing, you could cut out the postcard, you could cut out this little part up here. These things could be cut apart and turned into so many different things, you guys. They are going to be used in the journal, as they are, but they're also going to be used in the journal in other ways. And I'm going to back my pages, I think with lead, coffee dyed ledger papers, what I'm thinking, and some coffee dyed. Just to keep in with the theme, but then there's going to be some assemblage or collage pieces on those. Y'all have to watch these videos to see what ideas are running through my little head. So this one's got music paper. It's got the alphabet and it's got a piece of what looks like ledger paper, a postcard, wallpaper, a letter, um, a library card, I think, a little card, more wallpaper, gorgeous paper. Then there's this one. I love this going down the side. This could be cut off and put as a border somewhere. 
Let me zoom out just a tiny bit. I feel like we're, oh, that's like way too much. I feel like we're just way too close. There we go. I think that'll be better for you guys to see. Maybe not hold it up to the camera. So there's just so much you can do with these papers. But you could cut them apart and turn them into other things. I love this image down here. I love this like stamped image. This is like note paper with grid paper and then some collaging on it. It gives me ideas for making other papers like this. And then here we've got the, one of the background papers on this page. More grid paper or ledger paper. It looks like a letter or a receipt of some kind. Different things. These could be cut apart and put like on pockets or something in a journal. So many different options with this. And then there's this with the letter behind it and the little pieces of paper and ephemera. I think there are eight of these pages in the kit. I believe so. And I love that stamp. See, just cut, you could just fussy cut that out and put it somewhere. These two little tickets. And this up here. And then this section of ads and this little grand balloon captive, whatever language that is. I can't pronounce that. But definitely you could cut all this apart. Oh, this is, that's the second page of the title page. That was extra. I don't know why that one was for me to tear apart and do stuff with. Then we get to, in the kit, she included these um, journaling cards. And I printed, now the rest of the pages were all printed on 100 and I'm sorry, 32 pound paper. These are printed on 68 or 65 pound yellow cardstock or manila color, cream color. So these are the um, journaling cards and they're just plain cream on the back. And again, another page of journaling cards. So two pages of journaling cards. And then we have, I think, four pages of little file folders. And these are awesome. So you have the four little file folders taken straight from the pages in the kit. So they all go with, well together. And then we have this page of tags. Again, taken straight from the pages in the kit. These are gorgeous. And this page of tags. And then these last two tags. And that's everything that's in this kit. So I'm going to be making some pockets, some tuck spots, and all kind of things in the coming few weeks um, of me doing the process of this. So also on today's video, we are going to make the cover for the journal. So these are my pages. And again, it's Vintage Ladies Oversized Tickets number 111 is the kit number. And Assemblage Junk Journal Kit, kit number 178. Those are the kits that I got from Artsology for this month for my August project. And this is going to be so much fun, you guys, starting with the cover. So with the cover, see, we don't need that. Here's my plan. I purchased this beautiful fabric when I was at the thrift store. And it came in a longer piece. I cut off a big enough piece to make a cover. Flipping it over. This is called Wonder Under. Wonder Under on one side has texture. On the other side, it's like wax paper. We're going to iron this down using my glass mat as a protection surface. Surface. We're going to iron this onto here, and then I'm going to iron this piece of cream-colored cardstock to here. I'm going to fold my edges over and iron them, and then I'm going to glue this piece of burlap paper for the inside cover. So we're going to make a sandwich. That's my plan. And if you've never worked with Wonder Under, it's wonderful stuff. And I just went to the local fabric store and bought a piece of this. And so I've been heating my iron up on high while we've been talking. Because <laughs> we're going to do this live. So let me just line this up on my fabric again. Let me put the iron down. So things can go horribly wrong when you do stuff live. Hopefully not. And we're just going to put it down and we're going to iron. The main thing with this is to make sure you put the textured side down. 
that's the key and you're going to use a hot iron there's directions that come with it you want to make sure you follow the directions and I can see that it's getting clear so I know that it's melting doing what it's supposed to do what the wonder under does make sure I get my edges really good Okay, and I'm going to set the iron back off to the side. I cleaned that part of my desk off. And then we're going to let it cool. I think, though, while it's cooling, where'd my scissors go? I had. I have a brand new pair of scissors that have not got gummies on them or anything. And it's going to. I'm going to trim this off. Because I don't want to glue this to my tabletop. So I'm just trimming the Wonder Under down. Because we don't need this excess Wonder Under hanging off. And that's what this is called. It's called Wonder Under. Okay. Now that it's cool, should just be able to find a corner. And you can see the backing will just peel off. And you see that this is a different color. That's the Wonder Under. So I'm just going to peel. Uh-oh. It's supposed to just peel off, guys. My backing away from the sticky stuff. And I don't want to peel the sticky stuff off. I need it to stick my paper. Okay, hang on. There we go. I think I may have overheated it, is what happened. That's okay. It's still got plenty of sticky. I don't want to stick my fingers in the hot sticky. There's, I don't know what happened there, but let's just glue it. Glue it, glue it. Let me start peeling from this corner. It's not fusing. Okay. It's a fusible webbing. So that's something else that may be called as fusible web. There we go. So now we have this. I'm going to take this piece of card and lay it over here. I'm leaving room, trying to get it straight to wrap. Now, I know this isn't going to wrap that much, but it's going to wrap enough. So, I just want to leave enough room to wrap. I'm trying to figure out where a straight line That's a straight line there. Okay. Now, I have to be, I'm going to lay this back over in places because paper off of it. Sorry, guys. I have to make sure I get this iron down, but because I have that raw edge still, and pull that. As I have this raw edge, I don't want the iron hitting that at all. But I want to make sure I get my paper fused down. Because this can gunk up an iron in no time.
So right now I'm just making sure I get it ironed down really well. The paper heated up everywhere in the middle. Especially on the edges. But I'm fixing to do the rolled edges, so. Okay. Pull that off. Sorry for all the rattling. Now I'm going to come in here and just trim my corners back a little bit. So I can create mitered corners where these are going to meet. Hopefully that's good. Okay, and I'm going to start with this edge here. And I'm just very carefully bending it over the paper and pressing it down. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here to this side and get it the same way. Start at one edge. Move my scissors out of the way. And I'm just pulling it up. Y'all can't see what I'm doing. I'm just pulling it up and holding it and then moving my hand out of the way. So that this can adhere down. Okay. Let me snip this little piece right here off. I'll get those strings before I put the other piece on. And now I'm going to do this here. Pull it in. I'm just trying to snug it right up against the cardstock. And then here I see that I got too much bulk. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to snip some of that off so we have a good corner and no bulk. Because I want to put that other piece of paper over the top. And I got a little weird something going on here. Let me square that up a little bit. There we go. And get rid of all these fuzzy things. And just press this down really good. And I'm going to flip this one over. And I see where I need to trim off a little bit of that corner. There we go. And that's going to make a nice pretty corner right there. So I'm going to come in and iron that down. Just keep pulling the paper or the material. I'm not trying to roll the edge of the paper at all. I'm just coming right up over that edge of the paper with the fabric. And I'm going to stop right there because I need to do some snippy snippy down here to keep bulk from that corner. There we go. And I can snip that off a little bit. And that's going to give us a nice finished edge. And let me come and snip this little corner off. Like that. And do the same here. And before I glue down the other paper, I'm just going to snip these extra threads off. Because I don't want them caught under the paper.
Okay. Now, I could, in technicality, put another piece of wonder under, and I may. <laughs> and iron this whole thing down. And that sounds like a good idea to me, instead of using glue. Just iron this piece down to this piece. It actually might be easier than using glue. So, I think that's a good idea. And there's that cover. That's the outside part of our cover. Isn't that gorgeous? It's going to be a flexible cover. I need that snippy snippy. It is going to be a flexible cover. And it should come out even when we fold it because I don't want to crease it or anything. The cardstock was even. So that's going to be very pretty. So before we glue... I need to figure out how I'm going to tie it. And I think I want to use this. So the reason we need to figure that out is because I want to put a piece of it there. That's very long. And I want a piece of it over here. Probably not as long. in the middle and I'm going to tack that in place with a little bit of tacky glue see if we can get it to tack down real fast while we are ironing our wonder under to our other paper and then just kind of eyeball where that one's going to go So for this, you kind of have to plan ahead. And I usually forget to do this when I'm doing these kind of covers. Where I'm putting two pieces together like this, I forget to sandwich my lace. Oops. Let's try tacking that a little bit better. Or my whatever I'm tying it with. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to just set this off to the side for a moment. And I'm going to go get my Wonder Under so we can cut another sheet. I'll be right back. It's right behind me in a drawer. Okay. So, this is how it comes. And this is Pellon. Hang on. Let me turn it around. It is Pellon 805 Wonder Under. And it tells you all the directions and everything. And I just need... That's the best, probably this is the best way to do it. I don't really need any overhang, but a little tiny bit won't hurt. Make sure we get it all glued. And I'm sorry about the dog. Hubby is home again. Okay. Once I get it ironed to this, I can trim it off. Okay, we ain't quite far enough out. Okay, so there's that. And let me show you all up close. This is what it is. Pellon 805 Wonder Under. You can also get fusible webbing. It's the same thing. And I'm going to just set that aside while we finish this. Okay, so now it's just fusing it to the paper. Make sure I'm on the back side of my paper. Get our iron. I'm going to move my scissors so I don't melt the handles. <laughs> so 
so I'm just going to make sure I get it all ironed really well. I'm going to try not to overheat it this time. And let's see, I'm going to have to cut it because I need to be able to peel it. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this off. Let me go on in. Trim it, but not cut my paper. Okay, get those out of the way because I don't want to iron those. Now I'm going to go back over it one time with the iron real fast. Then I'm going to try to peel the corner. And it's not, it is not doing how it's supposed to do. Maybe I just need to let it cool longer. That's what we'll do, let it cool longer. Okay, I'm going to fan it a little bit. This is going to be such a pretty interior cover. Once I get this off of it. See if we can pull it. There it goes. Okay. I'm going to pull our cover back with our lace on it. Trying to get this out of the way and make sure it's laying straight. Because this is the only chance I get. And then lay this down on here. Line it all up because we don't have any wiggle room. And I'm going to start over here at the edge. And I'm applying pressure to this so I can get it ironed down very well. Okay. I think that's good. Let's let it cool off because it's really hot right now. It's very hot. So what do y'all think of a cover like that? It's a very simple way to take a piece of fabric and a couple of pieces of cardstock and make a cover. No gluing, no rippling of your paper. You could even do it with two sheets of paper and wonder, two sheets of cardstock, which I have done a lot of times is print one side, print the other side on 110 pound card, which that's what I think this was, this was printed on 100. 10 pound card I believe no it's 65 pound and the other piece was 65 pound because I know 210 pound pieces make a really sturdy cover most of my covers 
our 210 pound pieces of cardstock glued together. So under under between those would eliminate the necessary gluing step. So now what I'm going to do is kind of try to roll it without creasing. It looks like it's got air pockets. Let's re-iron. Should not have air pockets at all. Maybe while it's hot, I'll try to bend it before it cools. There we go. And line these up. This is going to be a one signature journal that I'm going to be able to sew the signature right into this journal. And I don't want to put a hard crease in it because I kind of want it to be rounded a little bit. Now where I think I may have some issues, I'm going to go back with the iron while it's bent and reheat and remelt and let's just flip it ouch that's hot flip it around and do the same thing get rid of any bubbles or creases like there's a little crease right there I don't like so I'm just gonna iron over it smooth all of this out There we go. Now it's all smoothed out and good to go. Now what I'm going to do, because I, I wanted to start working on my cover. That needs to come forward a little bit. It's not exactly folding how I want it to, so I'm going to be the ruler of my paper. I'm not going to put a hard crease in it, but I am going to iron it a little bit. There we go. To get it to do what I want it to do. So I think this is going to be our front. And what I had in mind was I made this earlier today. I put a piece of music paper on just a piece of cardstock that I cut with a die cut. This is also a die. And then I was thinking, where did I put the vintage ladies? That I want her. One of these two. So I'm going to take the die that I actually used to cut that out with. If I can get them open. And I'm going to do a like example thing. Kind of like her. Okay, that white's going to show, so let's go back over here. Like that, because I don't want that white, and I don't want to cut her hair off. So, I like this one better. So, I'm going to just try to center it the best I can. Grab me a pin. trace around the inside of that and my glass mat is hot it's from all that iron I'm gonna cut the iron off because I think we're done with the iron now I'm gonna cut this image out Fussy cut around where the ink line is and make sure I don't have the ink line. I'm trying to cut on the inside of the ink line. I 
and I'm just trimming off any ink line that's there. We don't want that on our picture. Okay. And then I got these at Hobby Lobby the other day. While Evie was here, we went shopping. And I got these. And I'm thinking I'm going to set that one aside for just a moment. Because I was thinking I wanted to put I'm thinking it's too much bling. Too much stuff. I was thinking I want to put this with this. I may have to trim that off just a hair. Or not. And then put her there. Oh, that's pretty. But I can always add this later. If I decide to. Now with her. Let's see. Are these the Dollar Tree things? It is. Self laminating sheets. I don't know how these are going to work. I want her to be like she's got glass over her. And it says on here. Adhesive side. Back of photograph. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, this is going to be a tricky to glue down. Yeah, that's not going to work. So, that's not going to work for our purposes. Because acetate, and it won't glue on here. So, what I'm going to do with her, this could go horribly wrong, and then I'll have to print out another page of my ladies. Where is my little plastic mat? I'm going to put her on here where she won't stick. I'm going to take clear nail polish. And I'm going to paint crossways. And I'm not going to brush back and forth only because I do not want to smear this ink at all. And this is inkjet ink. I'm going to do two coats. This first one's just going to be a let's get it on there and seal it kind of coat. Because we don't want to smear the ink jet ink at all. Glossy well, accents takes too long to dry. That's another option for this, but it does take a minute to dry. Now I'm going to let that dry, which will dry pretty quick. Put my dye back since we used it and got her cut out. Put it back in the drawer where it goes. So I hope everybody's having a good day. And what I'm going to do with this to help aid in this process is clamps. It doesn't need to be clamped other than it needs to stay shut. That doesn't... That lines up good. Just picky. Let me do two little ones. Let me clamp my camera cord back up. So that's going to help keep it flat while this is being glued on. I'm trying to decide the best way to glue that down. Think tacky glue. We're just gluing it to fabric. So we can go on and glue this while we're waiting on our nail polish to dry. Let me move my little mat out of the way. Bring this in here. And we didn't get to do as much Christmas in July stuff as I would have liked, you guys. So, for me, Christmas in July is not over. I had two or three more projects I wanted to do. So, we're just going to do Christmas in August. And we're going to get back to our travel journal. You know, our fake vacation in Italy. I hope I have enough glue on here. I'm going to stick this down. 
like this and I'm just gonna press on it for a minute and I have paper towels back here really like how this is looking already. hope that's straight. That'd be bad, wouldn't it? Is it straight? <clears throat> now I'm questioning, is it straight or not? While I can pull it up, it's, it's not got enough glue on it. It's going to need a good healthy little dose of glue, I think. Because the fabric is going to absorb some glue. And the Wonder Under will not release. It's, it's glued. I like it as an alternative to other kind of dry glues. Okay. Let me wipe this glue off my board. Now there are two points right there. And I wanted that smudge to go down at the bottom. Let's line it up. Right with those two points. They're not in the center of the book. That looks better. And I don't want it smack dab in the center. It's a little higher than center. Take, take another paper towel. And let's mash this. Mashing is a technical term. We're just going to rub it down and burnish it really well to the cover. There we go. I think I am happy with that now. How's our lady doing? Turn this. Is she dry? Oh, she's dry. Let's nut the coater. Except this time, I'm going to go this way. That way I can try to cover up any brush strokes I made a moment ago. And my finger's stuck. Get off me. This is just clear top coat from the Dollar Tree. And it smells horrendous. So if you are smell sensitive, this is probably not the way to go. And it looks like there's like a little something going on down there. Okay. Let that dry. She's looking very pretty, I think. Pick her up. What do you guys think? And she's shiny. And then she's going to go on our mirror. As soon as she's dry. So that's going to be the, the start of our cover. I don't know if I'm going to put the other piece on or not. I haven't decided that yet. <coughs> Could be a little much. And it's, it's really pretty. Let's move this clamp out of the way. It's pretty, but it's like a lot. And this plastic wouldn't be here. But it's a lot. I mean, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of blingy. So I don't know. I kind of like that look. So that's the look I'm thinking we're going to stay with. I might add some other like things around the edges or something like cheesecloth maybe something like that but for now I think this is good I like it I like simple and pretty and I think that's what this is I thought about though adding a label either at the bottom or 
well now it's too close to the top so like a little label down here at the bottom I'm thinking maybe some flowers or something to embellish it further instead of that big frame so that's what I'm thinking we've been here for almost an hour she's not quite ready to glue down so y'all be sure and go to Artzology's uh, um, Etsy store those links like I said will be below us for her Etsy um, all of her information be sure and go to check out her Etsy store and check out this assemblage kit it's awesome with all the different things that you can do with those papers you can use them as tear sheets you know to tear apart and make other collages you can use them as cutting them you know pieces that you could cut apart and use to make other collages with or tags or that kind of thing and ignore my nails y'all I have been crafting with Livy and still crafting on my own cutting out stuff and, and that kind of thing for this project so we're going to have some craft along with me for this um while I'm waiting on her to dry where did my little note paper go uh oh because it had other notes on it that were important for our channel and I call it our channel, you guys, because it is our channel. Without you guys, I don't have a channel. So I told you all earlier last week we were going to do some different things going forward now that we're done with the series. One of them is going to be like Multimedia Mondays. That means it's not mixed media. It could be mixed media also, but I was thinking more like polymer clay, making things with beads, different medias besides... You know, things we can use in our journals, but made from things maybe that aren't paper. So, Multimedia Mondays. Travel Tuesdays, we're going to be working on our travel journal. Once that's done, we may do um, Tag It Tuesday, which is where we make tags to go in other journals. And that kind of, just make backgrounds on tags that are, can be used to make other journals. Workbook Wednesday, I don't remember what Workbook Wednesday was. I wrote Workbook Wednesday. But I'm not sure what I meant by workbook. Maybe working on a journal. That's the day like this kind of thing where we work on a design team project or something. Ch Thursdays, I'm thinking I'm going to change this. It says tackle project Thursday to tutorial Thursday. Because you all have given me several things that you want tutorials on. Like the cover of my last Artsology project. Um making different covers and that kind of thing so that could be a, you know a day we do tutorials and then finish up Friday anything not completed we can finish up on Friday so that's what I'm thinking tell me in the comments below you guys what do you guys think of something like that's so where we're doing something a little different each day but it's kind of planned and we know what's coming up and if we need to I'm not a stickler for oh goodness today's travel Tuesday but we had stuff on Monday that we needed to get done if that happens then maybe we move travel to we just wait to get to travel Tuesday till next week or we move it to Thursday or something I'm not one of those people that's this is the schedule we have to stick to it it was an idea of something to go by to give me some direction for what to do so just let me know in the comments what y'all think that would help a lot and let's see if she's dry enough to touch. She is. So I am going to turn her over. I put two light coats of nail polish on there. Get this tacky glue to come down. And I have a blob. So I'm going to take that and leave it around a little bit. Okay, now comes the fun part. Getting her centered in the frame. I 
I think that's good. Now I'm going to press on it. There we go. I think that's awesome. It's very shiny because of the gold foiling. And I'm thinking I could add some little gems or something. And these may be too long. They can be adjusted later. They're there. So, guys, that's my Artsology beginning of the August project. We went through the papers. We went through the kits. We got our cover made for our journal. Next, I'm going to pull papers, and that may be our next one, pulling the papers. back. I'm going to back her papers, pull papers, and get my signature together. This is not going to be a very big, you know, it's not going to be a 20-page signature. Between, I was thinking, 10 to 15 pages, maybe, for the signature, because it's going to grow, as all my journals do, into a fluffy puffy which we have room for that to happen. But I really don't want it to be much bigger than that. I think that's a good size. And I like it. I think it looks really good. Cover's well made. It's very pretty. So, guys, that's it for today. I'll be back with another Artsology Design Team project. Thank y'all for watching, and y'all have a great blessed day. Bye, everybody.